Welcome to Lifestyle by SK, where wine, cigars, and relationships create a tapestry of extraordinary experience. And on today's video, I want to pose a question to the audience. And this question, I do not believe has been asked for the audience opinion, but much more of gurus or so-called relationship gurus online, giving people pointers and telling them what they should be doing. But in reality, are people actually being asked what the problems are and how we can probably solve a lot of these relationship problems that we have. But I was just sitting here thinking, and the question I want you all to think about is who would you take relationship advice from and why? Simply put, no filters, no extra thing attached to it. That is just the question alone right there. But I want you all to be able to keep that in mind because this is so important in relationships overall across the board, no matter where you're from. But particularly in the black community, we have so many relationship gurus online and we see more and more and more of them on YouTube from people who are married, people who are not married, people giving their advice. And I've honestly provided videos out there talking about relationships, but I try to put the angle on it of bringing more families together and pitching ideas and things out there that may work. And it may not work for everyone, and that's fine. However, when you're thinking about the people that we are taking advice from, ask yourself if the person that is giving you the advice about how to do something, how qualified are they to really give you the advice? Are they a follower of the principle that they are, are actually doing? So you're going to have people from both sides. You would say, well, people who are divorced can give you, give you information about how marriage is supposed to go because maybe they're trying to save people from running down the same track of mistakes that they've made. Then you have people who will say, well, if you've never been married, how can you give marriage advice on how people should move in relationships? So it's going to be mixed pieces of information from multiple sides. Not just two, but from multiple sides. Because you have people who may have been widowed, who were given relationship advice. You have people who are married giving advice. But what I don't see is a lot of successfully married people online giving strategic advice to couples about relationships. No matter what your age is, there's so many relationship gurus online, self-proclaimed relationship gurus online. And then the question remains is, how are they certified and qualified to give the advice? Does marriage qualify a person, a random person that nobody knows to go online and give advice? I always like to, like when I'm out and about and I'm talking to people, talking to people that I have known for a while, talking to new people, Sometimes I can just feel in the conversation when I'm having with them that they're asking questions that I'm giving them the absolute best advice that I can at that time. And I try to be careful to not go down a path of trying to be no guru because I do not want to be classified as a guru. But when the people in the immediate circle that I have impacted in some way by dropping something to them that they can take and they can research it, they can run with it, they can see if it applies and works for them, that is great. And I may not be able to influence people all across the world, and I'm no relationship guru, as I've said that multiple times. But however, what I do know is the people that have thus far, far subscribed to the channel, this YouTube channel, The Lifestyle by SK, it may not be the largest amount of subscriber base, however, it has shown me that there are people out there who are willing to listen, who are actually listening to the videos, they're engaging in the videos, and I most definitely appreciate that. But who knows where that it can go to. But when we're looking for people who could provide some factual advice that is going to help bring people together, that is going to work out a lot because what we see a lot of times online is a lot of dysfunction. We see a lot of noise. We see a lot of people who are self-proclaimed because everybody wants to be the it person. Everybody wants to be the person that everybody goes to to get information from. I want you all to really think up about this. Who are you going to take advice from? 
It's no different than a financial so-called guru online who's telling you how to become a multimillionaire and they're not even a multimillionaire themselves. They have not shown you any receipts. They have not shown you any type of thing to make you even be aware of who they actually are, what they can actually bring to the conversation and bring to the t table or the channel yet alone. But people are so quick to pick up on things that people say and run with it and they don't actually research what is going on. And so that is another way that we are so much in trouble in our, in our, in our community because we're not even checking the folks who's giving the information. Are they really who they are? But I most definitely want this message to be able to touch somebody out there. It's before you follow, before you subscribe to any channels of anybody that's giving you something that's too good to be true, are they really doing what they say that they are supposed to be doing? And it goes back full circle uh, for the people that's providing you relationship advice. Are they following the advice themselves? Also, who would be best suited to give you relationship advice. That's all I want you to be able to answer. If you can, definitely post it down in the comments below. Like, listen, and subscribe. Lifestyle by SK with wine, cigars, and relationship has always been able to create that tapestry of extraordinary experience. And I hope you all have a good one.